Okay, fat girl. Uh, why are you brought us all here? Well, as you know, we have, uh, you know, me and sitting here here have uh, run across some villains. Well, he got shot with one of these weird bullet things. He lost his cork temporarily. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. Well, I luckily was able to avoid getting hit with them, and we captured the villains. And they had more of these. Oh, uh, so cork racing bullets. Well, luckily these effects are temporary, but we did send them to allow to have them analyzed. And, um, it turns out the contents were, um, human blood. Everyone shot hearing this is the, are you serious? But who, as they remember, Airy? You don't think... We don't know where the quirk is, so. But that would explain the bandages and the fact that she was not well taken care of. It's not, you just. So if it wasn't for Izuku interfering, yeah, chances are he would have made more of these using that little girl. As Zuku, he's looking at, he's looking down at all of them. Literally. He has no choice. But, <laughs> it's just... Hmm. So, it is a good thing I interfered. Oh, well. All's well that ends well. Wait! What? There's still an issue with that kid. We don't know how her quirk works. Hell, I'll just go ask her. She should be away from the hospital, right? But we still have more to talk about. Not really. We just learned how they were making the cork racing bullets. That's just a theory. Well, I'm going with my gut. Later, and we're just walking off head straight to the hospital. Is yeah. When he gets there, he sees everyone. Just what's going on? Uh, she doesn't want to see anybody except the big man with horns. Huh? You, she wants to see you, I guess. As soon as he goes through her door, which she had to resize just for him, it's like, you want to see me? Her getting up and hugging him, just all sort of happy. It's, uh, hi. Her just looking up at him, crying, saying thank you. Is no problem him just paying her on the head. Her being as innocent as could be. You almost be wondering, what, dude, what happens to the whole, you know, provisional licensing thing? Seriously, there's there was no contest. It was too easy for Izuku, especially with Bakugo being humbleized and all that shit. In Todoroki, yeah, Izuku and Kaminari, Kaminari, the real Kaminari, actually did end up using a lesser magnetic field to stun all of their enemies. And yada yada yada. Yeah, I know it feels like I skipped some shit. In which... Eh, I might reference. You never know. Anyway. When it comes to her being discharged, Izuku wants to take her with him, but she... She's still 
very sick. She was not being taken care of at all. Which causes Izuku to be pissed even more. And pretty much want, it makes him want to kill Chisaki. But seriously, who doesn't want to kill Chisaki after learning what he did? <sighs> seriously, if I was an MHA, I, w I would take more than his hand. Well, well, yeah. Too bad I'm not in the anime. But when it comes to Izuku pretty much talking with the other heroes about what to do with Eri, they pretty much wanted to test her quirk. They wanted to try to learn how to use it, and yada yada yada, all that shit. Izuku just rising up, just. No. I'm adopting her. And I will train her myself. What? You heard me. I am going to adopt that little girl as my little sister. <laughs> what's that? What's, what's so funny, Kirishima? Little sister. <laughs> Think she's gonna call you big brother? Yeah. No, nah, man. No, nah, no, no, no. She, she, she's not gonna call you big brother. She's gonna call you Papa. No, I, I, I there's no way in hell. Are you certain? Fifty bucks says she calls you Papa instead of big brother. Who, who wants a piece of this? Who, who, come on, who, who wants in on this? Kirsha just laying out 50 bucks. Then Mario, then all the other heroes, Fat Gum, Rocklock, so on and so forth. They're just like, y'all serious? Yes. Okay, she's gonna call me your brother. Just, he dropped her 50 bucks on the table. So. <sighs> so, he says you can just feel something like, Wait, so I don't feel right. Uh, so they go, man, I'm, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some insur insurance. He was just walk, just walking back to, <laughs> to the hospital. Like, hey, Harry. Yes. Well, how would you like to be adopted by me? You're gonna be my papa. <laughs> no, I'll be your big brother. I'm more like a papa. Damn it, I'm gonna lose m my money. Um, but I am rich, so. Who? Hmm. No, oh, fuck it. No. I, no, no. I, I won't rub it. Rub this in their faces. Okay, how about this? We go around to some more heroes. And you're gonna call me Beard Brother. Until I adopt you, okay? But you're more like a dad. I know, but please, pretty please, after I talk to you, then you can call me Papa, okay? Her just, mm, okay, okay. As soon as they walk back in there after she gets discharged, just, so, Eri, did you tell you the good news? Yeah, that he's gonna be my big brother. <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> Kirishima looking like. Don't you mean Papa? No. Big brother. Ah! As he looks up at Izuku, Izuku has a smug look. Yeah, bastard. That's right, pay up. In which Izuku is now rich. Er, him walk, walking with Ari, with Ari on his shoulder. So, okay, so what do you want to do now, Ari, before we finalize the adoption? Want ice cream? Um, what's that? 
him just picking her up off his shoulders and just looking her right in the eyes. Are you serious? You don't know what ice cream is? No. We must create this error. We, we must fix this wrong. Him taking her to the ice cream shop and just tell her to pick one. Is uh, but which one? There's so many. Um, pick van vanilla. Two vanilla ice cream cones. Are you sure that's all you want? What do you mean? I'm just saying. <clears throat> just give us the ice cream cones. As soon as Eric chases it, she's like, hmm. Yeah, she, her face lights up. But. Since she was saved ahead of time, it is a less forced smile. But it's far from what you got. You actually got in the whole sports festival. Well, no, not sports festival. Yeah, you wait festival, the school festival. Yeah. So, will he do? Start asking, okay, so what are we going to do? What are, what are the guys going to do? So, what do you think, Jiro? <clears throat> um, I, uh, as Oraga, Pony, Mina, you know, just glaring daggers, and yeah, what do you think we should do? About a concert. I'm just looking at him. He's just gonna just, as what well, life was in his eyes is just gone. What's wrong? I can't dance. I'm sorry, what? I can't dance. Can you sing? <clears throat> no. No, I can't. Uh. Okay, what can you do? Well, we, uh, I can get some costumes and as well as do some special effects of my fire and lightning. Heck, I can even conjure storm clouds if you need them. Wait, actually, wait, who else can fly? Yeah, in the background, uh, we could actually have a fight. Within the clouds, I create. What do you mean? Well, I do make the appearance of a giant eastern dragon, for one. So if I actually conjure the storm clouds and start flying between them, every time lightning strikes within them, people see my silhouette. As everyone is getting what he's talking about, it's like. That sounds awesome. I know. You're welcome. So they're they're good with the concert as well as the special effects given to to them by Izuku. At the day of the festival, there is still Jizo Criminal. The only thing is, he is not wanting to risk. UA it is not worth it for him. Because <laughs> he knows about the heroes. He knows about Izuku, so he's definitely not going to. Let's not do this. Why not? It... Because they have a fucking dragon on their side <laughs> who beat the number one villain in the leisure of the Yakuza, who's been known to kill countless people. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure he has the internet that he would have known about me by now and probably is hunting me down as we speak. Just then, he's like a crashes into where they were hiding. He's like, Gentle criminal, I presume. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Please don't, please don't, please don't kill me. What? I, I'm too young to die. Well, well, 
I'm not going to kill. Okay, okay, fine. If you're going to kill me or arrest me or whatever you're going to do, please spare her. I, I uh, seduced her. I, I convinced her to be my partner. And she, I threatened her. You're just giving her as many excuses as you can. Wait, I'm not here to, to kill you or to, I mean, arrest you, yeah. But I, I actually have an idea. I was like, please don't. I don't want to die. Gentle. Well, what? He said he's not here to kill you. He might arrest you, but he's not here to kill you. What? Yeah, I'm not going to kill you, dude. Uh, really? Why would I kill you? I mean, you're you're nothing like the villains I fought before. You're not a murderer. <coughs> uh, that's that's where you're wrong. What do you mean? So you have killed before? Seeing Izuku's giant claws starting to peer out is a. I caused one. That makes me responsible. And at fault. Explain. Him getting Jinsa's backstory. That yeah, he wanted to be a hero. He wanted to do all that shit. But. His quirk ended up hindering the rescue and the heroes rather than helping. Oh. Oh, okay, so that's what happened. <sighs> I understand. Listen. <clears throat> I understand. It. You want to be a hero. You just messed up. Yeah. Listen, okay. How about this? I'm a hero now. I have my own agency with um, Stain, as well as several others who would be villains if it weren't for certain things happening. So, how about this? You come to our agency after you pay for your crimes and you miss LaBrava okay miss LaBrava since you are his accomplice you will have to serve time as well but luckily since you don't do anything too you know out there and harmful your sentence will be swift it won't be as bad and when you have uh, done serve your time, won't you come by our agency? Really? Yes. We'll be more than happy to take you on. Trust me. I I feel like people do deserve more chances when they prove themselves worthy of them and are willing to take said chances. So you're saying I can be, both of you could be heroes, but you still got to be arrested. Uh, understood. Oh yeah, as soon as you're out, why don't you come by UA? Huh? Why? Because there is someone that I think would like to see how your quirk works. You might be able to help them with theirs. Um. Okay. All right, let's go. As soon as Gentle is arrested, yeah, he still has time before the actual, you know, festivities, in which it goes without any issues whatsoever. He said he's not late. He's that tired as hell. And th the spectacle is awesome. I mean, I mean that. I mean, Izuku flying in the crowd, in the whole clouds thing while lightning strikes. Not to mention, thanks to Oraka's quirk, 
yeah, someone else is flying, looking like they're actually fighting him, which is actually Kirishima who decided to do it since not only does he think dragons are manly, he sees them as hell as they are. The strongest beings in existence. And Ares' smile brightens up everything. As for the whole Nomu thing, the, the high, high bred Nomu, there isn't one. He's even demolished all of the evidence, or at least everything that has to do with them. So there is no high bred Nomu. Uh, let's see, how should I start the next 